Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I want to take a look at the MP5 in Rainbow Six Siege. Out of all of the defensive weapons in this game, I believe that this is one of the most consistent. And so what I wanted to do today is talk about some of its stats, go into the reasons why I'm loving this gun right now, so that you have a better understanding of how this thing performs. And so to start things off, let's take a look at its damage. I'm assuming you guys are all very aware that in Rainbow Six Siege, there are three different armor types. You got light, medium, and heavy. Depending on what armor type your enemy has, that's going to influence how much damage you do when you are using the MP5. And so with that in mind, if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone who has light armor and you shoot them in the chest, you are going to do a consistent 28 damage. If they have the medium armor, which is a lot of the offensive team, it's going to drop down to 25, and then if they have three armor, it's going down to 22. And so what this means is that if you're fighting your enemy in relatively close proximity, you're not trying to snipe them from across the map with the MP5, uh, you're going to be able to take out every single one of the operators with five bullets. If you're not able to identify from a distance who you're fighting against, or if you're just maybe new to the game and you don't know the distinction between all the operators and you don't know how much armor each of them has, you put five bullets into them, you're going to know for certainty that you're going to be able to drop them if you are hitting them in the chest. Uh, this damage does get reduced if you hit them in a limb, though. So if you hit them in the arm or the leg, it's going to do significantly less. If they're wearing one armor, you're only going to do 21 damage. If they have medium armor, it drops it down to 18. And if they're wearing heavy, you're going to do an insignificant 14 damage. And so if you ever come into a situation where an enemy is maybe prone behind an obstacle and all you can see is his leg, uh, just know that you're going to need to put significantly more bullets downrange if you're going to want to take them out. Uh, the downside of the MP5 though, and this is really true for all the defensive weapons, is that its damage drops off significantly the further out the target goes. If you're trying to snipe someone from across the map, which I do not recommend with the MP5 unless you're going for headshots, uh, it can go down to about 10 to 15 damage depending on what armor type that they have. And so really, this isn't going to come into play very often because you shouldn't be in a situation where you're trying to counter snipe Glaz. I mean, sure it happens every once in a while, but if you are in one of those situations, completely ignore going for the body shot and always land that headshot because of course it will drop them with that one bullet. Uh, the one thing that I love about the MP5 though, and it's the reason why I think it's one of the best defensive weapons in the game, is its very manageable recoil pattern. Here for example when I just shoot at the wall, I'm not trying to compensate for the recoil whatsoever, you'll notice that it goes up and to the right. It does have a lot of vertical recoil. I mean this is true for pretty much every weapon in Rainbow Six Siege, but what I love about it and the reason reason why I think it's consistent is that there's not really a whole lot of recoil over to the right or the left. And so what this means is that if you're in a tight spot and you just need to spray down range but you also want to have and maintain that accuracy, if you just kind of pull down significantly down and a little bit to the left, you're going to be able to put all of their bullets relatively in the same spots. And so it's for this very reason alongside its consistent damage that if you come in conflict with someone who's directly in front of you, you put five bullets bullets into them and you manage that recoil, you're going to have no problem taking them out. A thing that's going to assist you with this is it's fairly high rounds per minute. It, ha it doesn't have the highest RPM out of all of the weapons in Rainbow Six Siege, but it is on the high end coming in at 800. And so once again, I mean, <laughs> there's so many things I love about this gun, uh, high RPM, consistent recoil, and solid damage. You put all of these together and you have the makings for an incredible weapon. Now with all that being said, how do you actually use this thing in Rainbow Six Siege? If you're someone new to the game or you're struggling to land those consistent headshots, this is probably the reason why I recommend the MP5 most because of its just solid damage output. You see an enemy, you put a, put a bunch of bullets into his chest and you're going to be able to drop them no problem. The reason why I like it though, personally, is because it is a headshot machine. Because of that low and manageable recoil, you can get headshots back to back no problem. I mean, you guys have probably noticed throughout today's video that when I get in conflict with someone, I'm always going for that headshot because it's very easy with the MP5. Yes, there's a fair amount of vertical recoil that you have to compensate for, but in relation to all of the other weapons in the game, it's very low or relatively low and just tap firing all day long and going for the headshots just seems really easy for me. Some of you might disagree, some of you also may have your favorite weapons, but at least for Rook and Doc, which this weapon is only available for those two operators, this just 
just seems like the safe bets. Uh, but overall, I highly recommend that you try out the MP5. Yes, it's terrible at doing damage at a distance, but as long as you're using it appropriately, and as long as you understand its strengths and weaknesses, this really is, in my opinion, one of the best weapons for the defensive team. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your favorite weapon is so far in Rainbow Six Siege. Is it the MP5? Is it something else? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.